Well, all the signs last night were that uh, the Democrats were in full crisis mode um, because of the performance of President Biden at the debate. In fact, I thought this was a, a remarkable moment in the post-debate coverage when CNN had a, a lower third up that said, Dem Democrats say, we, we are, are blanked. blanked. Yes, uh, with a four-letter word there. These were people um, in Congress tweeting uh, the various anchors who were on set. Right. So it was a disaster for Joe Biden last night. Yes, but uh, you know what? Friday morning, maybe a new day, because uh, there was a rally, a scheduled rally uh, for the president in Raleigh, North Carolina, and he was there seeming extremely energetic. This, what you're about to see here, is what I know the Democrats were hoping they were going to see last night, came uh, 12 hours later. Let me tell you why I'm here in North Carolina. I'm here for what? I'm here in North Carolina for one reason, because I intend to win this state in November. Are you going to see that? So he's telegraphing that he is he's not, not going to drop out of this race, which a lot of Democrats are begging for him to do. So the question, what is going to happen at this convention? Right. Uh, well, joining us right now to talk about the possibilities, uh, Alex Michelson. Uh, he's an anchor uh, for KTTV, uh, Fox 11 here in L.A. And, and the host covers. of The Issue Is, which exactly. is a political show all over California. He knows politics, uh, and he's joining us right now. Alex, uh, welcome back to Team Z Live. Great to see you guys. Um, and yes, I mean, I think the only word that you can use to describe last night is the one that you used, which is complete disaster. Uh, their uh, Democrats are in panic mode. Uh, what had been a private conversation, uh, which is, should Joe Biden really be the nominee? He's looking kind of old. I'm concerned about him, is now a full-on public conversation. Uh, and there are real questions uh, if Joe Biden can actually win now. Uh, going into the debate, he was already behind in all the swing states. That's why Biden's team asked for the debate early. They wanted to change the narrative. They wanted to prove to everybody that he was strong and coherent and with it. And all those videos were deep fakes. And we want to change the whole trajectory of the race. The problem is he didn't do that. He doubled down on all of his vulnerabilities. Uh, and now there's a lot of folks that say, we can't win with him as our nominee. So what, what I think is interesting, Alex, you said that it's now a public conversation. I, publicly, on camera, the Democrats are all saying, we're, we're sticking with our guy, we're sticking with our guy. But I know what you mean, though, that behind the scenes, we've certainly... They want him out. They, there are people who are very concerned, and they are talking about that. But still, it's interesting that nobody is saying it uh, out loud yet. Or, you know, on camera, let's put it that way. Well, you're seeing in places like the New York Times op-ed pages with columnists that uh, Joe Biden likes to read, Morning Joe, uh, which is a show that he watches. You're seeing people that he respects sort of pushing him. But you do not, as you said, have a key high-profile elected Democrat pushing him out. There aren't a lot of people that have the gravitas to do something like that. You think about somebody like Nancy Pelosi or maybe Congressman Jim Clyburn or Barack how about, Obama. How about Jill Biden? <laughs> Well, Jill Biden, I don't think she's going to publicly do that. That would be a private thing. Uh, but, uh, you know, there if a super high profile Democrat with gravitas like a Nancy Pelosi were to come out and say that there would be so many other Democrats that would get political cover to do it as well. People right now, I think, are afraid to be the first one to do it. So nobody's yeah. doing it. And Pelosi uh, today came out what, with a vote of confidence for Biden, saying basically the debate was bad, but he should still be our nominee. So um, there are people waiting in the wings. There is a bench. There is Gavin Newsom. There is Wes Moore, Gretchen Whitmer, Raphael Warnack. There are people on the bench. I know you have interviewed Gavin Newsom numerous times and traveled with him, and he is just everywhere uh, when these presidential debates he was or there last night. Yeah, he was there last night. He was on television saying, I support Biden. I would never abandon Biden. He he's he's positioning himself, isn't he? 
Well, there's an argument that he's been positioning himself for years, uh, but the actual logistics of having Joe, uh, Gavin Newsom be the nominee is very complicated. The only way that Joe Biden is not the nominee is if Joe Biden chooses not to be the nominee. All the delegates are pledged to him. He has to make the choice that I'm stepping aside and he needs to say, uh, all of my delegates, you can support whoever you want. Uh, and that scenario, there would be an open convention and Gavin Newsom or Gretchen Whitmer or Kamala Harris or other people uh, could potentially go for it. The other scenario would be as if he resigned the presidency, of course, uh, Kamala Harris would automatically become the president and would almost certainly be the nominee. Uh, so uh, really, at the end of the day, Joe Biden has control of this decision. And if Joe Biden wants to be the nominee uh, after 50 years of wanting to be president, Joe Biden is going to stay as the nominee. If you're Kamala Harris, do you just feel like, how have you been completely left out of the conversation? Ostensibly, you pick someone to be your vice president because they're the person who can do the job if you can't. And will do and the yet, job. Right. And will do the job if <laughs> right. you can't. Um, and yet... That's not happening. Like, there's no, there's never been, it never felt during his presidency that there was even anything resembling a handing of the torch, handing over the torch. Well, so far, most of the polls have shown that Biden does better against Donald Trump than Kamala Harris. Uh, and that's been a big reason, I think, that Biden has continued to run. The easiest thing logistically for the Democratic Party uh, if you had a VP that you really believed in could win, would be for Joe Biden to resign the job, to have the VP be an incumbent president, which is much stronger, and then uh, become the automatic nominee at the convention and go into November as a unified party. They have not wanted to do that. I, you know, you cover politics as well as anybody in the country, I think. Um, so is there any coming back for Joe Biden from what happened last night, or is this now cemented? It's tough to see how you come back from this. I don't think that Donald Trump will debate him again. Uh, we saw in the primaries uh, that Donald Trump didn't debate uh, when he didn't need to. And if Trump's lead grows in the poll, which every indication is that it probably will after this, um, there may not be a second debate. Uh, and so something has to happen. And you never want to make predictions in politics because crazy stuff happens and you never know. But if the election were held today, Joe Biden would lose and he would lose big. Wow. Well, we've got uh, a few more months. <laughs> it won't, what, it'll be interesting to see who's actually running uh, right. election day. Right. Uh, but we've got a, a few more months before we have to make that decision. So, uh, well, less than a few months before the Democrats have to make the decision. A month. Yeah. Wow. Alex, thank you so be much. Really appreciate you coming on. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it.